<clears throat> Here we are again, folks. Brother Peter with tidbits from the Word. So proud to be with you today. Listen, we can get atonement through temptation. This life, at best, is going to be a life of temptation. <clears throat> what What is temptation? You can be tempted to be weak-minded. How do how you say that, Brother Peter? How can you be tempted to be weak-minded? That's to just not think through the thought. Not think through it. When something approaches you that is a little bit baffling, think through it. Hey, there is no knot so great that you can't untie it. It may take you some time. I have tied my shoes before, double knotted and tied them because they aggravated me so coming untied during the day. And I'd get home at night and I'd have to pull the shoe off while I untied it, get it up in my lap, get my knife out and work on that knot to get it untied. But I'd get it done. I'd get it without cutting the lace off. I'd get the knot untied. It took some time. So some knots are harder to untie than others. So be careful. And be careful when you're making a knot. Don't make the knot so tight. Don't make it so tight you can't get out. You have to fight it uh, to do that. Human beings are um, equated with weakness. We as human beings, we are equated with weakness. We are very weak human beings. Do you know that uh, some animals are uh, just, you can guarantee they're going to do what they do. There's no weakness in what they do. They do what they do. For instance, armadillo. I got an armadillo out here in my, in my country. There's armadillos. And I got one out here. And he, he's dependable. He's going to do what he does every single night. He's going to come stick his nose in the ground. He's going to root the lawn out by hunting him an angle worm. And he's going to eat that worm. And he's going to root all over the place until he's done. And then come daylight, he's going home. He is, you can, you can project what that thing's going to do. He's going to do it every day. He's not going to change. He's the same. And, but we as human beings, we're not. We're prone to do something different every day. We're prone to do something different every minute. We're prone to do something different every hour. We get bored real quick. We're not like the armadillo. We, we get bored. And we wouldn't want to do the same thing all the time. Uh, some are weaker than others. Uh, uh, there's a a, uh, a a frailty in all of us. Uh, this implies that each one of us are uh, put together different. <laughs> but we all have a frailty in some area or some place in our life. And because of that, we need to work on it. We need to guard against the temptation of falling into that frailty. Whatever that frailty is, stay away from it. Don't fall into it. Uh, don't fall into gloom and doom. Don't fall into that place to where, woe is me. Oh man, the whole world's against me. No, the whole world's not against you. The world is what you make it. If you believe it's against you, then what you believe will come to you to be a fact, even though it's not. And the world's not against you. All you have to do is fall in and keep in line. And it's not against you. Guard against these temptations uh, which you're faced with. Overcome. Overcoming makes you strong. If you'll overcome the temptations of this world to fall into a mind lapse. I'm talking right here today about a mind lapse. I'm talking about us being weak-minded. Weak-minded. And not uh, following virtue the way we need to. Resist. Resistance makes you strong. Failure to resist or giving in makes you weaker. Makes you next time that temptation comes along, it might, it might be easier for you to fall in. Next thing you know, you're calling up a friend or something saying, I don't know what to do today. I'm just at the bottom of the barrel and I can't get up and oh me, oh me, oh me. Wow. You know why you're there? Because you brought yourself there and you allowed yourself to stay there and now there you are. You say, well, how do I get out of that, Brother Peter? Well, you resist that temptation to be there. You resist the temptation to stay there and you find some virtue in your life. You find some strength in your life. You try to prevail against that which is 
pulling you down mentally, spiritually, physically, and you prevail over it, and you put that temptation away, and you say, God, you come and help me. <laughs> and the Lord will. Uh, there's a, there's a, a, you can attain, there's an attainment in this failure. To attain something different. You can learn it by, when you're in the failure, you can see it, you begin to see it, and you get out of it. It's a testing. It could be a valid testing. So that you could come out with some virtue of overcoming. And you could, uh, beyond the question and the struggle that you're having in your mental ability, you could come out and prove yourself a conqueror. You can be a conqueror. You have got to do it. I can't do it for you. Uh, there are some people that you would think the saying would be, God can't even do it for them. Well, do you know if they don't ask him, he won't? Do you know if they don't ask God to do it for him, he won't do it? You've got to ask him. you got to say, God, I am weak-minded. I'm puny. I, I need your help. I need you to help me conquer this inward frailty that I have. And he'll do it. <laughs> uh, you're not like a piece of meat between two slices of bread like a sandwich. That's not how it is. Some people think that they're crushed from the world that was yesterday and the world that's tomorrow and they're crushed in between it like a sandwich and, and they don't know what to do. They can't seem to lift the bread. <laughs> they can't go down through it and they can't go up through it and it's too heavy for them to lift. Well, they may need to just ooze out from between it, slide out from between it and leave uh, yesterday alone, leave tomorrow alone and live in today. Hey, your problems come from yesterday and tomorrow. They don't come from today. Today there's an answer to a problem. If you have one, it's a today problem and you, you, you take care of it today. There's strength and there's valor in taking care of that problem today. Uh, yeah, you, you need to kill that enemy. What is the enemy? Well, you have different mind enemies. Uh, you can have an enemy of the mind that says you're weak, you're puny, says you can't beat it, you can't untie this knot. You're in it, and you've got to live in it. No, you don't. Uh, by the way, Waldo Emerson was a great one for writing about getting out of the temptation. I, I like to use the Bible rather than Waldo Emerson, but I, I lived right up the street from his house in the state of Maine. He lived in Thomaston, Maine. I lived right up the street from that house. I remember going to it when I was a child. And uh, uh, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to him that love him. That's in James chapter 1 and verse 12. If you love the Lord, ask the Lord to deliver you, come to your rescue, he will. By the way, you have no business whatsoever, any way, shape, or form of being depressed if you love the Lord and he's your God, he's your Savior, you've asked him to save you. You have no business on this earth to be depressed. None. You do not have a right to be depressed. Jesus died on the cross for your depression to take it away and if he died to take it away you need to accept it and get over it and come through only time it says in one of these little excerpts I was reading only time can solve some troubles and do you know that only time can solve some troubles if you break your wrist you can go through the trouble with the Lord, but you're going to go all the way through the trouble. Then that therapist is going to move your fingers, going to do all kinds of things. You're not going to like it. It's not going to be pleasant. You're not going to be exactly happy. But you've got to do what the therapist says. And what the therapist Jesus said is, Call on me. I will give you peace. I will end your problem, and I'll take care of it for you. 
This is Brother Peter, Tidbits from the Woods. See you next time. Bye-bye.